Capricorn, how are you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be an Astro Flower reading from the 29th through to the 4th of September, the 29th of August through to the 4th of September. We are in Virgo season. We are barreling down the summer, coming to your autumn season. So this is, should be very a vibrant time for you. A lot going on for you, really, at the moment, Capricorn. I did do a monthly reading uh, on Tuesday for the collective and I think you should go and watch it. It's a long video, but it's worthwhile watching the whole thing. It's, uh, there seems to be some major changes coming through. And this ties into the eclipse video that I did back in uh, Taurus season, because that eclipse season rhythm, that's all going to come through in October. So it all tied into that as well. Uh, you will have your individual um, monthly reading coming out on Wednesday uh, this uh, coming week. So let's just get straight in here and let's see what's happening for you in this week. Like everybody, there should be a lot going on in the here and now, in the interaction with the world around you. Uh, the general atmosphere may be a little bit electric, very fast, very vibrant, not necessarily coercive, um, cohesive, uh, not really sort of together as it were, but just loads of things going on. Um, and you've got this sort of, because you, you're in your summer season, you've got this plow in motion. So there is this wave that is coming through by the end of September, which I think ties into those eclipses which come out in October, is going to be pushing all the karmic stuff right up to the uh, here and now and into the environment that is directly around you. Let's see what's going on um, in your with the overall energies that's going flowing through you this week. Streamline, streamline, it's concentrating on things. Um, this is difficult for Capricorn. We tend to diverse, I'm a Capricorn, so we tend to be um, distracted with lots of different projects. We like to do lots of different things. And here the overall energy here is sort of kind of going, let's just streamline and let's keep it down to basics. It's like playing, playing soccer or football. If you do the basics right, you're going to have a good you're going to have a good team you know if the teams do the basic stuff right uh you're going to be very constant and then when you're constant then you can allow the skill to come out to play as it were so here it's a case of this week here is it's a call of yeah, streamlining things call to action there's going to be um so you may feel this you're going to be pulled in one direction and if you're getting pulled in one direction, that means you're going to have to let go of certain other little projects or relationships that you're dealing with uh, in order to support, sort of move on and progress forward. Let's just see what's going on in the karmic message on the relationship side. I think it's been difficult for you in regards to relationships over the last two years. And I think this is coming to an end. I think this has also to do with Pluto being in your sign in retrograde, uh, which we've had for, you know, Pluto's been in uh, Capricorn for a very long time. Um, and it seems like it's here, it's sort of like, if you streamline things, calm things down and don't really push things, you're going to have people coming to you. So it might be a bit of a glow up moment for you. Change your wheel of fortune. Now this is absolutely mad. Okay, so Taurus had the uh, wheel of fortune here. Virgo had the Wheel of Fortune here, and you've had the Wheel of Fortune here. So Taurus is much more in the here and now. Um, uh, Virgo is, is coming through with the guides, and your karmic message here is that Wheel of Fortune, that change of um, fortune in regards to relationships that are around you. And as I say, just allow things to come into you. It's going to be really beautiful if you just allow things to happen, except... Um, the pleasure that other people may be able to bring to you, uh, Capricorn, which sometimes is difficult for us to do. Uh, you know, we're difficult to, it's difficult for us to, you know, it's the same with a lot of people. It's not necessarily just with Capricorns, but, um, you know, to accept praise from other people, but also to accept gifts from other people. Uh, it's really difficult sometimes, Capricorn. Um, so, yeah, there is a definite change of fortunes within your relationships. Let's see how the... Um, how the universe is trying to sort of guide that sort of uh, karmic message here. Even the universe wants to shower you with, with joy uh, by the looks of things. Three of Wands, 
Uh, so three of wands is the harbour master in the old uh, in old cards. Uh, it's the coming and going. It's the trading uh, that sort of thing. And I, I think it's allowing and the track. The harbour master doesn't really go anywhere, but he voyages through the people that come and go in his in his port. And I think this is where you sh this is what you should be doing. Allow people to come to you, and as they do, they're going to bring you gifts from uh, from their life, um, which is going to make your life uh, really enjoyable and very versatile. Uh, let's see how the guides are trying to influence your sort of karmic message. It's as if they're just sitting down like uh, uh, like a desk, almost within the sunshine and sort of saying, let's just enjoy this moment. Let's just enjoy these moments in life, these little moments in life. Um, and it may sort of um, be connected as well over this side here to your work area. But I think it's a case here of what they're trying to encourage you to do with the coincidences that are around you is to just sit back and enjoy life and allow the universe to help you out. Allow the universe to bring those things towards you. Getting out the way. This is it. Sitting behind a desk, an emperor. Phew. You know, they're just sitting there and they're enjoying that sunshine. This is it. Just sit in your power. Allow uh, the world to do what it's got to do. Get out the way, Capricorn. Uh, and I've, I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very big advocate of that at the moment, uh, of getting away out the way. There is moments when you need to push. Uh, but this is not one of them, Capcom. This is a moment, and this is on all fronts, is allow that hard work that you've already done come to the surface. Let's just see how the uh, universe, uh, your guides are trying to uh, influence that conversation, that subconscious conversation that is within you. It's like they're helping you to, or they're, they're listening, but at the same time, they're dropping truth bombs. <laughs> so uh, it may be a lot of realizations uh, with regards to your relationships. This could be family, friends, community. It could be your couple as well. Uh, but it's the way in which you interact with these relationships will uh, define how they go forward in the future. And it's maybe, you know, people are going to say things to you that are going to connect a lot of dots in regards to relationships. Uh, where people, some people might have been playing games and stuff like that, They're really annoying, uh, not your sort of thing, Capricorn. Um, and uh, you know, you're, it's a case of where you'll be much more interested in sort of seeing how these sort of, sort of all these sort of things lay together and sit together. So yeah, I think these truth bombs are going to unstuck you from certain relationships and make you help you to go forward and free you up um, nicely. OK, uh, and yeah, realizations of things, just listening, just allow things to come into your life. I think uh, will allow you to it's almost as if like you're, you're, you're being called on the mission uh, in life. And this could be within your relationships as much as within your business, uh, your money side of life. And as it as you as you start moving forward, you're going to get some realizations because you're going to see things a lot clearer in the retrospection uh, you know, in retrospective of, of relationships. And there, as I say, there's there's going to be a lot of moments that kind of kind of go, oh, right, okay. And this is where the here and now is really busy at the moment. I think it's going to free you up enormously. Let's just see what's going on on your financial side of life. Uh, here's the karmic message coming through for this. Similar sort of thing to here. Allow it to come to you. You've done the work. You You should have done the work. You should have done the preparation over the last six months. And this is leading up to this situation when your height of your summer, where you should start seeing all those lovely fruits come to the surface and that you can pick and eat with ease um, and allow the universe to actually sort of do its job and, and create, uh, create for you. So seven of swords playing smart. Uh, this is it. It's, Playing smart doesn't necessarily mean sort of kind of pushing it through. Playing smart is a case of realizing that, um, you know, uh, of taking a situation, uh, of disarm, disarming um, uh, complications or problems that are around you simply by 
removing an aspect of the um, your job or your business or your or your connection to the job or the business it really is playing smart at the moment having that you know if you do step back and you listen to things you're going to be able to um, see the opportunities really clearly for you and that's what that playing smarts all about how is the universe sort of um, influencing you uh, influencing your karmic uh, message They, there's a lot of they're, they're almost sort of saying you can't go backwards there's a lot of uh, rocks uh, behind you as if to sort of say you've got to go forward there's no other choice now you've got to go forward and if I was you as a Capricorn I would definitely be pushing any sort of job promotion uh, uh, or following that job promotion literally you don't have to say much it's just like little sort of things that happen around you to sort of opens doors for you and I would go through those doors that's what it's more a case of uh, you know seize those moments seize those opportunities you know working together with other people this is where um, this is where playing smarts all about you know you can't do everything in the world other people have to be specialized in subjects or certain aspects of work in order for you to be a specialist within the work you're doing and as I was saying on the overall energy here it's streamlining a bit, doing the things uh, well, the basic things well. And I think this is what the, that's that playing smart aspect was all about. And that's how the universe is trying to influence you, that you have a contribution to be made in, the, um, in your job, in the business you're working in, or the business that you're running, or the projects that you're doing. Uh, and it's, it's connecting with other people uh, so you don't have to work like a... Like a like a crazy person and working too hard in order to get what you want. Let's see how the guides are trying to influence that karmic message. They're creating scenarios around you or coincidences around you. So it will give you the appearance that there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of gifts coming in for you, a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of opportunity and a lot of gifts. Uh, I don't want that top card, apparently, and that's the card I want. Uh, so, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, feeding that security within you. And that's part of your power. That's part of that playing smart, of knowing what you've done uh, is good work, or what you can do, your mastery side, how good you are in your field of what you do. Um, and having that security within you will give that persona around you, which will help other people to position themselves in order to get you further down the line of where you want to get to in regards to your financial, your business side of life. And that's really pushing through this week. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to start seeing the water start shifting uh, in the in the September period, in the first being, in the beginning part of September. Uh, and that ties into those monthly readings. Should go and have a look at that. Let's just see how the guys are trying to influence that karmic um that sort of um conversation sorry that is within you that subconscious conversation that is within you being sociable but without giving anything away so it's almost being a little bit like um like candid does that does that work for you i just had the four of swords and the ace uh ace of swords there uh so being a little bit more sort of relaxed about things will give you those victories that's the sort of thing it's sort of talking about there um and it's being very sociable but very very pleasant to people but not um not uh not being flamboyant not just chucking everything around you know not sort of like just spending your money um uh, willy-nilly as it were and it's just more a case of being a little bit more concentrated on the things you're doing being observant to the things that are around you in order to seize those opportunities that are coming your way okay so <laughs> queen of cups i think both uh, signs had the uh, queen of cups as well but they were much lower down and it is just sort of allowing that sort of pleasure to flow from you into people around you and this is how you guys are trying to help you to sort of make everybody feel at ease around you. So then that's going to make your job or your career path or your business a lot easier to put into place. 
Uh, and yeah, having a bit of shine, having a bit of a glow up moment for you. Really beautiful reading here. Uh, there's, so uh, on, let's just recap on the uh, two sides. On your relationship side, um, it's a change of fortune, but you're going to have to allow things to come into your life for that. Uh, therefore, I wouldn't push too much. And just enjoy it and, and allow yourself to get freed up with those truth bombs uh, of seeing clearly about how you, what sort of relationships you want to have or how you can develop those relationships that are around you. And allowing those gifts to come into you. And your financial side is very similar sort of situation of playing smart, uh, observant, listening, streamlining what you do. Stop running from pillar to post. Okay, if you do all of that, this is what the sort of thing that's going to be coming out by the end of the week. Victor is coming in very quickly. As I said, it's very busy over here. Things are going to get uh, uh, things are going to free up for you on the relationship side. Uh, you're going to really start loving your work because it's going to become uh, more successful because you have that certain power within you. Uh, and as you're called to this mission, you're going to be called to a. Uh, it's going to sort of like it's almost like a vacuum that's going to just pull you in, almost like a chimney as the. As you burn the as you as the wood burns, it creates that heat, which then pulls more draft through the uh, fire, as it were, and allows the fire to to go on. It's a definite sort of um, yeah, active, proactive uh, moments coming in for the following week. You're going to feel like you're much more in control of the situation, and you're getting a lot more in the way of um, uh, victories or um, success within your life. And that's on both sides of it. So there you go, Capricorn. There is loads of links in the description below if you're, uh, uh, connected to the Astro Flower. Um, uh, there's also a connection to our sister channel, Cymatic TV. If you, um, uh, if you want to help this channel, subscribing and clicking that bell or sharing this video across all social media, uh, liking and also commenting does help us out with the, alpha, uh, with the algorithm of YouTube. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, uh, Capricorn, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.